Hey everyone, welcomes you to Affinity Designer Studio. At this platform, you can learn about Affinity Designer software in the easiest way. And I'm sure after watching these tutorials, you will also make some cool and creative stuff for your projects. And today we will gonna make this logo design, so let's get started. What is Affinity Designer and what is used for? Affinity Designer is the fastest, smoothest, most precise vector graphic design software. Affinity Designer used for vector graphic designing work and also for drawing work. Select pen tool from here, or press P key on the keyboard, and make the outer shape of your design with the pen tool, something like this. Select node tool press A key on your keyboard and adjust the curves by dragging these handles. Now make a little curve line like this. Fill your main shape with any color you want. Now expand this curve stroke, select expand stroke option in layer menu. Select both curve stroke and main shape of the design, and divide them by clicking here at geometry menu. It will how you can divide any shape. Now fill your shapes with gradient, and select the gradient in Swatches Studio. These are custom made gradients. Select fill tool press G key on the keyboard, and adjust the gradient with fill tool like this. I will tell you how to make the custom gradient in Affinity Designer. Select Rectangle tool and make a rectangle fill it with any color. Now fill this rectangle with the default black to white gradient. Now add one more stop because this gradient has three colors. Fill the colors in this gradient, select first stop and click on this color box, and with this color picker tool, pick the color and repeat this step with other two stops. Right click and select add to swatches option. This will how you can make the custom gradient. Mm -hmm. 
Now we are going to add the shadow under the design, select an ellipse tool and make an ellipse like this, and fill it with black to transparent gradient. Change gradient type to elliptical, and transform it like this. And give it the Gaussian blur effect from effect studio panel, and send it to back, and lower down its opacity. Now I will make some highlight and shadows to this design and give it the realistic feel. Make the first shape like this and, fill it with white to transparent gradient and, change blending option to overlay. And make some strokes curves like this and change blending option to overlay. And like this make the second shape, and fill it with black to transparent gradient, and change blending option to multiply. and make some strokes curves like this, and change blending option to overlay. and make some shadow under the front shape, something like this to give it more realistic feel. and make a background with rectangle tool, and fill it with dark blue color. And we are done now. I hope you enjoyed this video, so please subscribe this channel, and give a thumbs up this video, and please share this video with your friends. 
please stay tuned with this channel for more upcoming tutorials like this. Thank you guys, for watching this video. Bye.